Now we're gonna bend some hoops. So we have a hoop bender here. Thanks to a couple generous donors, Commonwealth built, bought two hoop benders. You have to have a hoop bender in order to bend the conduit. We're using EMT, uh, electrical metal conduit, that's available from most hardware stores or electrical supply stores. It comes in 10 foot lengths. We use the half inch width. That's uh, pretty easy to bend and it works fine. It's plenty strong enough for the hoops for low tunnels. You can also use the hoop benders to bend uh, conduits, conduit that is three quarters or one inch thick as well. We're gonna bend a hoop that's four feet, foot wide. You can use the hoop benders to make hoops that are three foot or four foot or five foot or six foot wide. Since we're doing this for low tunnels, we want them four foot. So I've already marked this conduit at 21 inches here. That's because we're going for a four foot wide hoop. I'm gonna put it in here, and then Alan, will you give me a hand on holding that in place? Okay, this is now gonna lean against the um, little brace there. You can see the conduit is in this um, groove between the, there we go, between the two pipes here. We wanna keep it in that groove. And now I'm gonna bend it. Helps to have a second person to stand on the pallet and keep it steady. When we bought the hoop benders, we bought them from Johnny Selected Seeds and they just came, just the hoop bender by itself. We mounted, we mounted it onto the um, pallets to make it uh, easier to use. So we're gonna bend that until it's about perpendicular from that side to the top. And then we just slide this out. I've marked the other side of the conduit at 21 inches also. Slide that in. You got it, Alan? I don't see the mark. Oh, where's that mark? Oh, there. There it is. Okay. Johnny's has an excellent set of instructions that go with the hoop benders. If you go to their online growers library, go to tools and supplies, and then to low tunnels, you can get that information. You ready? Let it go. And we, again, we're keeping the conduit in that groove between the two pieces of pipe. All right, so now we've got it bent. We'll just pull it out. And there's our hoop. If we need it to be a little wider or a little narrower, it's very easy at this point to make those kind of adjustments, pushing it together or pulling it a little bit apart. Commonwealth bought these two hoop benders with the purpose of making them available to the public. So if you live in Oklahoma City or the metro area and need to use a hoop bender, just drop us an email, info at commonwealthurbanfarms.com, and we're happy to set up a time for you to come over and use the hoop benders. Now that we have our hoops made, let's go ahead and install them. So you'll need one hoop about every five feet. In this case, the compost pile is small, so we'll just need one hoop on each end. Push them in about 10 inches or so into the ground. What we want is for the hoop to be really stable. So this is a bit loose yet, so just keep pushing it in farther. That's much more stable. I'll give it a little bit more of a push. So I've got one at this end. Now I'll put one at the other end. So this gives us the framework that we can pull the plastic over. Sometimes it's hard to get the hoops right through the wood chips, but once you hit ground, it should work. And again, I just want to push it in far enough on both sides so that it's good and stable for holding the plastic. And then I'll put my plants on top. So any seedlings that need that extra protection, we're gonna go on top of the hotbed. I'll grab my compost thermometer. 
so I can keep track of the temperature inside the pile, make sure that it's heating up, and then eventually starting to cool down as expected. And then the next thing is to cover it with plastic. Here's an example of a low tunnel that we've made where we've already covered the hoops with plastic. You don't have to use plastic. You can also use row cover. Row cover comes in a range of weights from light to heavy weight. The advantage of row cover is that it breathes, so you don't have to open and close it every day. Plastic will heat up. First thing in the morning when the sun comes out, that plastic is gonna start heating up the space inside. So it's a pretty hands-on affair. You really have to be ready to open it every morning and close it back up again every late afternoon or early evening. With plastic or row cover, it needs to be weighted. I like sandbags because they're nice and heavy, and I put one sandbag on each side of each hoop. You can also use bricks, snap clamps, whatever you use, just make sure that it really holds down the plastic because if the wind catches a corner, it'll blow really easily. Also by stretching it taut, side to side and end to end, that helps keep the wind from catching underneath and blowing it over. You don't have to use EMT conduit for the hoops. You can use PVC plastic, which can be bent by hand, but PVC is photodegradable and it will um, start to fall apart into little tiny pieces of trash, uh, plastic trash over a few years. So the conduit is a much better long-term investment. Um, you can also use number nine galvanized wire. This is a really cheap and easy way to get started. You can also bend it by hand, but they do tend to be a bit flimsy compared to the conduit. So um, this is still my favorite. 